problems on Newton's second law of motion. A force of 5 Newton gives a mass m1 an acceleration of 8 meters per second square and a mass m2 an acceleration of 24 meter per second square. What acceleration would it give if both masses are tied together? So basically there are two objects, one of mass m1 which is moving with an acceleration of 8 meters per second square, A1. And a mass M2, which is moving with an acceleration of 24 meter per second square. If we tie M1 and M2 together, then with what acceleration will it move? If M1 moves with 8 meters per second square, M2 moves with 24 meter per second square, M1 and M2 put together moves with what acceleration? And for M1 to move with this acceleration, the force used is F is 5 Newton. And the same force is used on all these objects. So, with the same force, with the same masses of two different objects, how it acts individually, how it acts when it is tied together. So, for that first we need to understand what is M1, what is M2 and then we can find out so let us go to the first part of the question to find M1. So F is 5 Newton and A1 is 8 meter per second square. We know that F is equal to M1 into A1 which means 5 is equal to M1 into 8. So mass is equal to 5 by 8 kg and in the second part let's find what is m2 so f is 5 newton and a2 is 24 meter per second square so f is equal to m2 into a2 which means 5 is equal to m2 into a2 is 24 so m2 is equal to 5 by 24 kg. So we found M1 from this and we found M2 from this. So we know M1, we know M2. So we know M1, M2. We know force. So we should be able to find A. So in the third case, the mass becomes F is the same, 5 Newton, and mass is M1 plus M2. So 5 by 8 plus 5 by 24, which is 24 the LCM, 8 threes, 3 fives, 15 plus 5, which is 20 by 24. So 4 fives and 4 sixes, 5 by 6 kg. Since F is equal to M into A, a is equal to F by M, F is 5 and M is 5 by 6. So since it is in the denominator, it becomes 6 by 5 and 5 ones, 5 ones. So it becomes 6 meter per second square. Acceleration when it is tied together, the third case is 6 meters per second square. Go to the next problem. Which would require a greater force accelerating a 10 gram mass at 5 meter per second square or a 20 gram mass at 2 meter per second square? So we have an object whose mass is 10 gram 
another object whose mass is 20 gram. Now this 10 gram mass is moving at an acceleration of 5 meter per second square and 20 gram mass is moving at an acceleration of 2 meter per second square. Now we want to know which one will require a higher force. Compare F1 and F2. Given data is the mass in each cases and acceleration. So we can find out the F1. So F1 is equal to M into A. In this case, it is 10 grams into 5 meters per second square. Now since mass is in grams, we need to convert this into kg. 10 grams is 10 by 1000 kg, which is 1 by 100 kg. Since 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kg. Now F1 is equal to mass into acceleration. So 1 by 100 into acceleration in this case is given as 5 which is 1 by 20 Newton, nothing but 0 0.05 Newton. In the second case, we have F2 is M into A. Here again, we need to convert the 20 gram mass into kg. So 20 by 1000 kg, which is 1 by 50 kg. So F2 is 1 by 50 mass into acceleration in this case is 2 meter per second square. So 2. So this becomes 1 by 25 Newton. Nothing but 0 0.04 Newton. From F1 0 0.05 F2 0 0.04. So we conclude that F1 is greater than F2. So, this requires a mass of 10 grams requires higher push. Go to the next problem. The velocity time graph of a ball of mass 20 grams moving along a straight line on a long table is given. How much force does the table exert on the ball to bring it to rest. And the graph given here is y axis velocity and x axis time in seconds, velocity in centimeter per second. So you have 1 to 10 and you have it scaling 5. Now let's find out what is the force. So in order to find what is the force exerted on this object to follow this graph, let us see what are the given data. So we got from the graph that it started from here on a straight line. So the initial velocity u is 20 centimeter per second. And final velocity we see at the end of the straight line the velocity 0 centimeter per second. And the time taken for this is 10 seconds. So we will find out the acceleration from this data as to find force we need acceleration. So acceleration A is equal to V minus U by T which is 0 minus 20 by 10 which is minus 20 by 10. 10 ones, 10 two, so minus 2 centimeter per second square which on conversion to meter, we will get minus 2 by 100 meter per second square, 2 ones, 2 fifties, so which is minus 1 by 50 meter per second square. Since 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meter. Now that we know acceleration, we need to find what is the force exerted. For which, from Newton's second law, we have the equation force F is equal to mass M 
into acceleration a so mass m is given as 20 grams which again we need to convert back into kgs so divide by 1000 so we will get it as 1 by 50 kg since 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kg so f is equal to mass 1 by 50 into the acceleration a is equal to minus 1 by 50 meter per second square so this becomes minus 1 by 2500 which is nothing but minus 0 0.0004 newtons so the force that is required to follow the motion on this straight line graph is minus 0 0.0004 newtons